Hello! Here I would like to show you the new search for tactical motives in Chessbase 15. In the new version of our program you can now search for all common tactical themes or motives. Let's investigate this by opening our database maneuver tests here which contains a lot of strong Grandmaster Blitz and Rapid games. I right click the database and I search and in our search mask I click on maneuvers because there I find all the new entries for tactical themes. So let's click for example on promotion and this should find all games containing tactics which lead to a pawn promotion. Let's start the search. Searching for tactics takes a bit because internally we use an engine um, to confirm that the actual moves are the strongest in the position. But still you see it uh, yields a lot of material in a short time and uh, we can stop it here and look at what we've got. For example here a game of Vashila Graf. We click on the game and this leads us to the position where the tactics start. So Vashila Graf played a rook decoy here, luring the black rook into a pawn fork, which led to the promotion in the next move. Nice example. And it also shows that um, tactical motives rarely uh, come uh, alone. Here we have combi a combination of at least three themes, namely decoy, fork and promotion. Let's click any other game, for example this Sweetler game. Let's have a look what happens here. Yes, Sweetler sacrifices his queen to easily simplify the position and one of the two pawns promotes nice everyday tactics. And one final example, well, for example this one, what's this? Aha, another standard decoy, rook g8 check, decoys the king and black has no time to stop the promotion of the pawn. Okay, that was our tactical theme promotion. Let's have a look at another theme. So we call up the search again and we uncheck promotion and let's look for example for yeah, um, trapped piece. Trapped piece is pretty interesting because uh, um, this will find all kinds of funny situations where piece get, pieces get trapped. You would not find them in a tactics book but uh, well it's everyday tactics. We just look at a few examples. I think that's already enough. We can stop here. So clicking on the first one. Aha. Uh -huh. So black traps the white knight in the corner. Pretty standard. Interesting. And the next. Ah, uh -huh. the black knight gets trapped on a3. And one more than we have enough. What's that? Ah, we are trapping the black, black queen. Okay, you see how this gets, uh, how this works. Okay, quickly one final more motive, and then we move move on to another more advanced uh, uh, experiment. So let's search for. Well, what would you like to have? maybe yeah, discovered attack. That's a very rich source of tactics. And okay, let's click any game of Carlsen here. What do we have? Okay, stop the search first and uh, we see that uh, there's a discovered attack from the black rook to the knight and it simultaneously the knight attacks the white rook or for example game of uh, or anything else for example what's this here 
are very very common discovered check also a fork white winds and the queen so you see this is um, a nice way to get everyday tactics examples and uh, now let's move on to something a bit more advanced um, why do we have this this tactic stuff in the maneuver search of chess space well you can combine it with maneuvers for example let's um, look at forks on um, f7 knight forks on f7 in combination with the typical decoy sacrifice of the queen so we now define a maneuver we say a white queen moves from anywhere to the square h8 and gives a check and this should be a decoy decoy sacrifice okay one more move of white a white knight should in the one of the next moves actually immediately in the next move go to f7 that should be with check and it should be a double attack or fork so let's see whether we have results for this search actually only one in the database of 8000 games small database and aha you can see this white sacrifices the queen decoys the black king into the fork on f7 which simplifies to a one end game with the pawn up get the idea but one more example maybe so we search whenever we start a new search it's good practice to reset the whole search mask and let's start let's look at a typical skewer which happens every day millions of times in uh, blitz games let's say a rook a white rook goes to h8 and it checks there and it skewers the king and it will then gain material whatever is behind the king on the back rank let's try that let's check me again that's wrong it should be a rook going to h8 and checking and skewering on the black king okay uh, that's like this okay so we find this here rook check on h8 should win the queen well it wins a rock okay this is um, a bit <laughs> well it, this wasn't prepared but you can see it's still this um, it is a skewer but uh, black was able to interject the piece okay next example here it's uh, skewer works fine the black queen on c8 is lost next example aha uh -huh. this is a skewer but actually black gets mated here and the final example again winning the queen okay thank you very much